By his power, God raised the Lord from the dead, and he will raise us also. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14. Thank you for joining for day 16 of our 28-day experiment of dynamite prayer. You know, in our Heaven Bible study, we read 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18. That's what it says. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. You know, the resurrection power means that we are not living a temporary or time-restricted life. We need to see the unseen because that is not restricted by time. That's the dunamis power. Pray. Let's pray that we can focus on the unseen because I think that's when we can truly recognize God's power in our life. Now, for those of you who are wondering why I leave the Greek characters there uh, in our uh, scripture readings, well, it's just so that you understand the word power and the meaning of power, and it's emphasized uh, through the original language. Now, it's said and mentioned in the book as dunamis, uh, but you might have read it in other ways, and in this case, it was dunameas. And the reason why I love that it's written that way, so uh, dunameas is the Greek way of saying it's a possessive or, you know, the apostrophe S thing. Uh, it, it really highlights, right, that it's not just any kind of power. It's not a random power uh, that God just happens to use, but it's a power that God possesses right? It's God power. And I love uh, that the Greek language sometimes is able to highlight that a little bit more. So when you read his power in the Bible, just know that it is the source of that power comes from God. Now, in the context of 1 Corinthians 6, it means that my life here matters because the resurrection power is something that is eternal and not finite. It is understanding that I need to have a different view in light of eternity. What I do now matters because the way I live life does not end with death, but with resurrection power that will resurrect me when Christ comes back. Let's pray together the breakthrough prayer for our church. Eternal God, may our church live in light of eternity. Give us an eternal perspective, not a short-sighted one. Amen. Let's say the prayer whole three times so we can memorize it. From death to life. From death to life. From death to life. I hope you can continue to pray using this prayer hold during the day. I'll start out my prayers. Lord God, your power brings from death to life. You have brought me from death. To life. You have brought me from a life that was cut off from you into life. So, Lord God, may I live like that it actually happened. May I live like I have the resurrection power dwelling within me. May I live like I will be resurrected when Christ comes back. Give me, Lord God, an eternal perspective. The way that I look at our church, the ministry, the way that I look at my children— all these things, Lord God, give me an eternal, eternal, an eternal perspective, Lord God. For Lord, from death to life, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me today in this wonderful experiment. I thank those of us who have made it 16 days. I hope you felt God's power through your prayers and that we'll continue to feel it during the next 12 days.